What's up, all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ollie, Strength Core Design Five Star General. All right, um, haven't done one of these in a minute. It's kind of a motivation Monday, um, but it's a topic that my boy John Cannon actually was talking about this past weekend, and it really got me thinking. I'm like, you know what, man? Before I post any other videos, I gotta address this, man. I really have to address it because um, I think it's something that's important. I think it's something that we overlook a lot of times. And it's a topic that I think is going to help a lot of people really get their minds right. So, um, first of all, if you don't follow my boy John Cannon, go ahead and follow him. I'll go ahead and, you know, put, it's just John Cannon. If you search him, you'll be able to find him, okay? Um, but pretty much, man, what he was saying in his last video, he's doing a cutting series. And um, pretty much in his last video, he was talking about, um, you know, is cutting worth it? You know, is it really worth it? in the end to be cutting um, for you, you know? Everybody's different, you know? He went pretty much into saying that, you know, us as YouTubers, you know, we do this because we have something to gain from it. You know, we have somewhere we're trying to get with, you know, using our physiques to, to make money or monetary gains or, um, you know, things of that nature, you know? Let me try and readjust my camera real quick. Um, we have something to gain whereas the typical average person there's no need for you to get stupid lean and he, he made a lot of good points really go watch his last video and just listen to what he had to say i'm gonna put a link to his last video in the description actually as well so my basically um my basically i'm sounding super stupid um basically what i wanted to do was pretty much cover the topic from my own perspective based off of what john said so um pretty much uh he, I mean, he was spot on with it. He was spot on. He basically was saying this, man, like, there's no reason that the average everyday person has to get dumb, stupid lean. Now, don't get me wrong. When I post my videos of motivation and showing you guys that I'm dieting, I'm leaning out, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, it's my personal journey, but it's meant to inspire you. I'm going that extra step that you don't have to go. I'm showing you that the little, the not little, let me not, let me not say little because people are going to take that and just run with it. The steps that you have to take that are difficult, okay, and getting lean, I'm going beyond that, okay? I could have literally stopped at 210 pounds and looked, I could have looked fine, but well, no, I'm going to like 200, possibly 195. You know why? Because I'm going that extra mile to show you, okay, you can get to your goals, like, your goals are achievable basically and i'm gonna go that extra mile just to show you that you know you can even go past that if you want to but you don't have to a good example he used um we were actually talking you know we'd be we'd be texting or whatever and a good example he uses like uh like a doctor actually he said in this video too a doctor like if i was a doctor do you really think i would care about getting 150 175 grams of carbs I'll be fat swole all day. I'll eat pretty much healthy food because I am a doctor. I got to set some type of example, right? But at the end of the day, you have lives in your hands, okay? That's stressful enough. There's no need for you to go and worry about hitting macros as well. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you're worried about macros? You should be worried about what prescriptions does this, this person need? What surgery or what this or what that? You have lives in your hands. That's probably the most stressful thing that you can even come up with. So for those of you who are like, oh, counting macros is stressful, you don't have to worry about dealing with possibly being responsible for the death of somebody. That's serious shit. That's stressful shit. But as far as like, you're worrying about, oh man, like, I only have 175 grams of carbs. Who gives a damn? There's people across the world, 175 grams of carbs, that's a damn feast to them. Okay, that's a fee. They wish they could have that much food. And we're sitting here and we're, we're bitching and moaning because we're so used to having such, like all this food out there. That's, I mean, that's why we're the fattest nation in the world, honestly, you know what I mean? That's why we have an obesity problem. Okay, because when we have a regular amount, like 175 grams of carbs, trust me, I've been on this shit for like three weeks. It's not that difficult, okay? I mean, it. Sure, I would love more carbs, but honest to goodness, if I was to tell you I was feeling like absolute trash, it, it's not the case, okay? It's just simply not the case. If I felt that trashy, I wouldn't be making these videos, okay? Um, it's very doable, you know? It's all, it's all mental, man. It's because a lot of us, we grow up eating a bunch of calories, a bunch of fat, a bunch of carbs, barely any protein, let's be real. You know, I and mean, once we become a, like, it's like this, man. It's almost like if any of you guys like follow the Bible or whatever, right? Um, 
like at the story of Adam and Eve, if you're familiar with it, where pretty much they were naked or whatever, and then they uh, they basically ate from the tree of uh, knowledge and evil or whatever, and they became aware that they were naked or whatever. It's the same concept with us. Before we started working out, before we started lifting and getting into this, we, were, we weren't aware of macros. We didn't know what foods had what in it. And a lot of times we probably under ate. How many times did you probably go a whole day because you were so busy, you just ate one meal and that was it for the day. But now it's like, oh, I have these macros to hit. If I don't hit my macro, I'm so hungry. I only have 50 grams of carbs. I only had one meal. I only had this. I only had that. It's only because you're aware of it like sometimes that's why it's good to sometimes not track your macros like if you're just maintaining or whatever sometimes it's good to just get away from that because honestly it can be mentally draining and can even lead to food like like eating disorders man because when you're aware of stuff like that you treat it a lot different than when you know you're not even aware of macro like people who aren't aware of macros they don't look at food and think oh like this is this much fat this much carbs they look at food and say i want this food i'm gonna eat it that's it you know what I'm saying? We have the ability to look at food and know whether or not it's healthy or not. Um, and that's a good thing from counting macros, but at the same time, it can be a detriment. Um, but back to the point where John was basically saying, look, man, don't try and compete with YouTubers. Don't try and get as lean as YouTubers. We're literally doing this shit. Like me and John, honestly, we don't even have to really do this shit, to be honest, because we're not big enough to where we're we're motivating a bunch of our audience is not so widespread we're doing this you know why one because we just you know what i'm saying we just we're we're, we're we're built for this shit you know what i'm saying like we literally like we want this shit bad you feel me we've had conversations we want this shit bad bro like i don't we don't want to be small channels forever we want to grow we want to do stuff and be able to to help people you know of course john wants to get rich and famous then now he'll know nobody <laughs> But I'm sure once he's rich and famous, I'm sure he'll still remember all you guys. All right, if not, I'll make sure he remembers you guys, okay? But the whole point is this, man. Is cutting worth it? Yes, to an extent, okay? Obviously, if you're holding a lot of body fat and you wanna get down and get lean and get right, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome, as a matter of fact, okay? Um, it's really good to test yourself mentally, but when we're talking about going you know, lower than like 12% body fat. There's no need. If you're between 12 and 15% body fat, you are perfectly healthy and you're good to go. You don't need to be 10%, 8% body fat. For what? Especially if you're not a YouTuber or you're not even trying to do anything in fitness or modeling or any of that stuff. You're just a regular average everyday person. Just make smart choices. You know what I'm saying? Just make smart choices. Have a cheat, like foods that you, or not even a cheat meal because if you're just making smart choices, exercise, eat healthy, and on weekends, enjoy yourself a little bit, and get back on the grind. That's it, man. That's all it takes. You don't have to be sitting here counting macros, counting this, counting that, freaking crying yourself to sleep at night because you went over by five grams on your fucking fats. Like, that's crazy. That's that's utterly fucking ridiculous. That's utterly, I literally, I, I'm not gonna say who because obviously that would just be disrespectful. So disrespectful. But, I had somebody message me one time that literally they had a mental breakdown because they went over on their fats by like three grams. They're like, bro, I just don't know how. I'm like, nigga, are you, are you, are you serious right now? Like, it's, it's not April 1st. So I know they an April Fool's joke. What the hell do you mean you have a mental breakdown? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. There's no re for what? For what? This guy's not a YouTuber. He's not trying to do anything, you know, like with his physique he just wants to look overall healthy and good or whatever just like john said trust me if you're doing it especially for women or whatever i already said this in my facebook live vlog you have a better look you have higher chance with women with money than a physique i'll tell you that right now go out there and all the extra time you spend in the gym spend it doing overtime at work or doing a second job i guarantee you you'll get way more attention than women from women from women than you would have just working on your physique because trust me a lot of times they don't even give a damn about that stuff mostly only the shallow ones and even them they'll take the money trust me if women is your goal don't focus on fitness focus on finances all right mental jewel for y'all right quick but anyways man it's just a quick video i wanted to address man because john made a really good point and i had to let my subscribers know as well that look man if you guys are out there dieting and you're stressing about it and you're already pretty lean and you're not trying to be a youtuber you're not trying to prove anything like that, just stop just stop 
What for? You know what I mean? Even me, I don't even diet all year. You know what I'm saying? There's a point in the year, once I'm done with this diet, I'm gonna hit maintenance or whatever. I'm gonna count my macros during the week and on the weekends, I'm gonna just get it how I live it, baby. That's all I do. You know what I mean? And then when I start bulking, then I'm really gonna get it. You feel me? But I have something I'm trying to work toward and achieve. You know what I'm saying? I'm a personal trainer. You know what I mean? Like, not in person anymore. You know, unfortunately, I will get back to that one day, of course. But, um, you know, I still coach people online. You know, I still have people come work out with me and I, while I'm working out with them, I'm always trying to teach because that's just in my blood, it's in my nature. I, I love to teach people about fitness, whether it be diet, whether it be programming or whatever. I love teaching, okay? Anytime somebody's doing something wrong or whatever, you know, I feel it's my obligation to correct them because when you have the knowledge, keeping it to yourself is just, it's selfish. You know, if I have the knowledge of something, I'm gonna spread that to the next person, so. All right, pretty much to wrap this video up, man, look, if you're pretty relatively lean, I highly recommend that you go ahead and just, you know, live life, man. Don't don't stress so much about your food and your physique and all that stuff like that. Like, work towards it, but don't let it kill you. You know what I'm saying? If it's becoming mentally draining and it's affecting like your family and stuff like that, because it will, it will, trust me, trust me, I'm sure my family knows, my girlfriend knows, a lot of my close friends know. Hell, even some of my subscribers can tell from some of my videos. Like, it can affect you. It will affect you. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they want to go out to eat or something and you have to, well, I can't because I, I, I can't, I'm dieting. You know what I mean? The, if, if you're an average everyday person, you know what I mean? Just stay at maintenance. If you have an event, go enjoy it. Enjoy life, man. Don't do what me and John are doing, okay? We're, we have other goals in mind, okay? Our goal, we need this for our goal. That's the difference. You might want this, we need this, okay? When it's something that you need, then you go ahead, you do what you gotta do. You diet down and you sacrifice and you hit the macros. You know what I mean? No matter how much you want that, that McNuggets or how much you want a little $5 box from Popeyes, you suck that shit up, you eat your fucking broccoli, your cauliflower rice, or whatever you gotta do, and you, you hit the macros and you make this shit happen because you have a goal to achieve, okay? But if you're just somebody out there, just an average everyday person who just wants to be healthy, it might be something you want, but it's not something you need. I highly recommend you just just be healthy and don't let it stress you out, man. All right? I don't want this video to be super long, but it's motivational. I think y'all will get something out of it. Be looking out for No Cuts, No Glory, Episode 4, Cheat Meal Edition, or Cheat Meal, Cheat Day Edition, coming out tomorrow. Y'all be out on the lookout for that. And then I got some more videos coming out this week, too, that you guys will really like, okay? Don't forget the orders. Subscribe and share. Like and comment. Till next time, my devil dogs. Dismissed. I keep it 100% natural. That's just the choice I've decided to make. And you guys out there who are enhanced, are natural, hey, whatever. That's all up to you. No judgment, man. Every man has to make their own decision.